You're a Nobel laureate. My name is Marco Gentili, I am 28, and have lived all my life with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, in its more sporadic form, also known as ALS2. For the last 10 years, I have been active with the Luca Costia only association to promote and protect the interaction between scientific evidences and the decision making process, trying to balance the completeness and correctness of scientific information with the effectiveness of its message. This is why, on behalf of the association, I have taken the liberty to write to you to extend an invitation to participate in the fifth meeting of the World Congress for Freedom of Scientific Research scheduled to take place from the 11th to the 13th of April 2018, at the European Parliament in Brussels. Themes like patients' rights, that are certainly human rights, genome editing on humans and plants, research on embryonic stem cells and embryos, as well as reproductive rights and research on controlled narcotics, will be addressed at the three-day event. Central to the Congress will be the human right to science which includes several individual and collective elements, from the right for scientists to conduct research to the right of everyone to benefit from its most recent and promising results. The right to science is codified in dozens of national, regional and international human rights instruments. It is a right scarcely known and rarely evoked, but it is key for the welfare and well-being of humanity as a whole. The Fifth Congress will adopt recommendations for policymakers to address national and international institutions responsible for developing regulations on science-related issues. At the same time, the event will promote the need to ensure national and international evidence-based decisions. Participants will include Nobel laureates, representatives from national executive and legislative bodies, relevant UN and EU entities, academics and research institutes civil society, the media as well as non-governmental organizations including of course patients. The European Parliament, which includes 751 members representing over half a billion citizens, and is one of the most symbolic places for normative debates, and often a precursor of progressive legislation, has already hosted our event in the past. I really hope that your agenda will allow your participation in the 5th Congress for Freedom of Scientific Research, and look forward to hearing from you at your earliest convenience. Thank you very much for your time and consideration. With my best wishes, Marco Gentili, Co-President, Luca Costia Only Association.